Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today's block is called Silver Lane. And here is my sample block. I made it with three different colors of blue and a brownish gray and a white background. This one uses flying geese units and half square triangles and a pinwheel unit. So it has a lot of pieces, but it has some basic techniques. So uh, I hope you will give this block a try. Here are the fabrics you're going to need to make the silver lane block. For A, you will need two three inch squares. For B, you will need four two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. C is eight two and a half inch squares. D is four three inch squares. E is four three inch squares. F is four two and a half inch squares. G is six two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. H is two three inch squares and I is four two and a half inch squares. And you'll want to draw diagonal lines on the wrong side of the C fabrics and the E fabrics and the H fabrics. So I'll adjust the camera and we'll get started making the silver lane block. Okay, I'm gonna start out by making half square triangles out of the A and the H squares. And I have a line drawn on the wrong side of my H squares. So this will give me four half square triangles. So I'm gonna put them right sides together. And I'm going to stitch a quarter inch away from the drawn line on both sides. on this drawn line and it'll give me two half square triangles just like that and then I'm going to press and trim them down so they'll measure two and a half inches square. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this one and this is a directional fabric so I'm going to look at Here we go, at how I had that sewn together. And on this one, I'm going to put the diagonal line in the opposite direction of this one. And that will give me uh, pieces that are going, the pattern going in the direction that I want it to go into. press and trim these down and we'll move on to the next step. Okay now I need to make half square triangles with the D and the E squares and I drew a diagonal line on the wrong side of the E squares because they're the lighter fabric. So this will give me eight half square triangles when I'm done.
Okay, next thing I'm going to do is to make a pinwheel block with the A and the H half square triangles. So I'm going to lay those out. And see if I can get these to get the pattern. Since this is a directional pattern, I want, there we go. I wanted all the gray stripes to go in the same direction. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these together. Sew them together in pairs and then sew the two pairs together. Here's the pinwheel unit. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is to make the corner unit. So I need two of the uh, D and E half square triangles and an I square. So there's four I squares. And I also need F squares. So it's four F squares. So the I square and the F square are going to go opposite each other like that. and then we move some of the other stuff out of the way. Then these half square triangles are going to go with the light blue facing each other. So that's how that unit goes together. So I'll put that together as a four patch. So I need to make four of those. And there is that unit. So I'm going to make the other three and then we'll move on to the next step. some flying geese units with G rectangles and C squares and we're going to sew these C squares onto each side of the rectangle and uh, you can draw a diagonal line on the wrong side. Now I tried doing it on this fabric and I couldn't see it very well so I'm going to um, just eyeball it and I have enough experience with um, doing this that uh, I feel comfortable with it. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to go from the top center to the bottom right hand corner. And I'm going to do that on all four pieces. So. Put these apart. And 
and then I'm going to trim a quarter inch away from that drawn line. Now I'm going to sew the triangle onto the other side and it needs to be sewn from the top center to the lower left hand corner. I'm going to trim these down and press and then the flying geese units will be done. So I'm doing the same thing. Trimming off the outer corner, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. So there are the flying geese units. We have four of those. And then I'm going to take these B squares or B rectangles and I'm going to sew a flying geese unit to each one. So they're going to go like that. Okay, so those are all done. So now we're ready to put the block together. So I'm gonna adjust the camera and show you how I'm doing that. Okay, so I have all the units here. I have the center unit, which is the pinwheel. I have the flying geese units and I have the corner unit. So I'm gonna start in the center with the pinwheel and then the flying geese units are going to go on each side. So I'm gonna lay those out. And then we're just going to put in our corner unit. So the blue is going to go towards the center and the white on the outside. So there we go. So there's the block. So now I'm going to sew the units into rows. So we'll have three rows and then I'll sew all three rows together and the block will be done. So here is the completed block. I think it turned out really well. It's a good, confident beginner block if you're comfortable with half square triangles, flying geese units. Um, I think you'll do just fine with this. So I hope you'll give this block a try. 
Okay, so here is our completed block. I think it turned out really well. And I'm anxious to see this one in a quilt. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes up. And in the meantime, I hope you are all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.